my dear friends before discussing standing poses i know i need two hasta mudras my dear friends let me come close to you if we adopt mudras on the palm they are called as hasta mudras if i take the palm say right palm there are five fingers this is the thumb the biggest finger this is the index finger middle finger ring finger and this is the chota small finger here we discuss two mudras my dear friends santosha mudra and adi mudra santosha mudra happiness mudra anti depression mudra suppose if i take the right palm let me come little more close to you these are hasta mudras if i take the right palm if i adopt a mudra on the right palm dear friends the left brain hemisphere will be activated if you adopt a mudra on the left palm the right brain hemisphere will be activated if you adopt mudra on both the palms the entire brain will be activated there are so many methods now these are hasta mudras if you take mudras from the tongue jifwa mudra if i protrude my tongue outside the mouth like a chameleon if i slide the tongue to the left side and if i touch the left lip like this my dear friends i protrude my tongue like a chameleon i slide the tongue to over the lips and touch the left lip if i do this the right brain hemisphere will be activated if i protrude my tongue if i slide along the lips if i touch the right end the left brain hemisphere will be activated let me come to hasta mudra if i take my right palm friends thumb is the biggest finger if i place the thumb at the top of the little finger if i slowly slide this to the bottom of the little finger if i press here let me add up on the left palm also this is santosha mudra happiness mudra anti depression mudra friends if you adopt this mudra for no reason we feel happy conduct a small, small experiment whenever you are free whenever you are sitting whenever you are relaxing on a bed you adopt this mudra you adopt this mudra bring the thumb to the root of the small finger just you press and right you can keep anywhere on the knees right now within minutes you feel happy for no reason isn't it great isn't it great now this is the santosha mudra this is the technology of this mudra let us go to the science of this santosha mudra why we feel happy friends if you adopt santosha mudra happiness mudra anti depression mudra the body releases hormones friends hormones are chemical messengers the body releases happiness hormones like dopamine 
a small molecule manufactured by nerve cells acts as a neurotransmitter and a precursor of other neurologically active substances including norepine norepine fry next endomorphin cortisol oxytocin oxytocin is also a happiness hormone friends oxytocin now if a mother is giving the birth to a child to bear the pain the body automatically releases oxytocin my dear friends a happiness hormone acetylcholine we don't know how many hormones how many hormones are there my dear friends so if you adopt this santosha mudra happiness hormones are released in the body we feel happy this is the science and technology of this santosha mudra my dear friends isn't it wonderful so this is santosha mudra from the santosha mudra i travel to another mudra i close my four fingers i touch the palm i press here i make a fist here so this is the combination of two mudras my dear friends santosha mudra this is adi mudra friends adi means first friends every child every child in the womb of the mother will be with adi mudra at any point on the globe my dear friends now i am speaking globally i repeat every child in the womb of the mother at any point on the globe will be with adi mudra adi means the first the first mudra of the child friends child in the womb of the mother is a great yogi my dear friends here i am speaking only with adi mudra there are so many features to speak as a child child in the mother child in the womb of the mother is a great yogi my dear friends adi mudra every child in the womb of the mother will be with adi mudra why friends adi mudra adi mudra regulates the circulation of the blood of the child in the womb of the mother so hence it is in with adi mudra adi mudra the first mudra of the child before taking the birth why child is a great yogi my dear friends friends even after taking the birth the child remains in adi mudra for few weeks why the child remains in adi mudra now if we come to the crown of the head at the top of the head the top of the head the top of the the crown of the head of a child is the soft portion my dear friends now this crown of the head we call this as brahmarandra brahmarandra kapalarandra where we have sarsadala kamala my dear friends now the if you touch the soft portion of the child of the baby this is the soft portion of the baby on the skull now if you place your palm even you can feel the pul palpitation of the pulse the heart beat of the child also my dear friends now the child remains in adi mudra after the birth i am telling the child remains in adi mudra till the brahmarandra becomes hard once if the brahmarandra becomes hard the child releases its adi mudra and proceeds with its life so every child in the womb of the mother and after taking the birth for few weeks it will be with adi mudra why adi mudra my dear friends regulates 
the circulation of the blood of the child in the womb of the mother so the adi mudra is the fusion of two mudras santosha mudra and adi mudra friends adi mudra regulates blood pressure bp now if it works for a child in the womb of the mother it works now also if you adopt a adi mudra it regulates the circulation of the blood it regulates the blood pressure bp friends adi mudra as i said it regulates the circulation of the blood friends adi mudra if you adopt now adi mudra improves the heart health so before discussing the standing poses like tadasana there are so many hundreds thousands of standing asanas these two mudras are very very important my dear friends one is santosha mudra happiness mudra anti depression mudra and the other is adi mudra my dear friends thank you very much